So for today's church, Santa Maria and Dominica, we're right down the street. That's the Colosseum right there. You see that? Colosseum. Some old walls. Another church we're going to visit later on during Lent, Santo Stefano, is right there. That's a beautiful church. Can't wait to take you there. But today we're at Santa Maria and Dominica, which is right here. So you can see it's very close to the Colosseum. Oh, another church we visited uh, the first, one of the first few days of Lent. Uh, Santi Giovanni Paolo is right over, it's like right behind that building. So a lot of churches up here that many people miss that are just amazing, beautiful churches. And again, that's the Colosseum, 10 minutes away, walking. So let's have a look at this church. Hey guys. Hey guys. Today we are at the church of? Santa Maria in Dominica. Also known as? Santa Maria in Navicella. Yeah. Named after this fountain right behind me here. So the woman that lived at this house, I think her name was Syriaca, can't quite get the pronunciation correct, uh, but she was a friend of Lawrence, as in St. Lawrence. Yeah. So we're gonna visit a lot of churches associated with him throughout Lent. Um, but he would come over here, this was her home, and they would distribute alms to the poor, bread, things like that. Um, when he died, she's the woman that had him buried where he is today, St. Lawrence outside the walls, that's what it's called. Now, it's, it wasn't called that then, that'd be kind of weird. Um, but yeah, so she's the one that had him buried there. And so it's a really beautiful church inside, a great apse mosaic. We're gonna see a lot of beautiful apse mosaics throughout Lent. I think this might be the first really cool one that we see. Um, so we'll have a look at that when we go inside. Ready girls? Yeah. Let's go. 